In today's video, I wanna show you guys the PowerSmart 500 watt portable power station. Perfect if you need power on the go. Uh, does up to a thousand watts peak power, perfect for charging different electronics, different devices, different things that you have when you are not able to plug in. Maybe you're going remote, camping, or more. This is a power station you're gonna to wanna to check out up next. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and today I'm getting to check out this really cool power station. It's a 500 watt, 1000 watt peak power portable power station. And what this is gonna allow you to do is take it with you. You can put it in your car, take it camping, um, be remote. Uh, and if you don't have access to power, you can use the power from this device to power different electronics, different devices uh, that you may need to uh, either charge up or use on the go. So I'm gonna show you all the different features of this power station, uh, as well as put it to the test and kind of show you some examples of charging different items, uh, and also show you uh, how you can use either solar panels or your wall charger to charge this unit back up, giving you power all the time when you're on the go. So let's open this guy up. Got our PowerSmart uh, instruction manual. Also included, we've got uh, cables, converter cables for uh, solar panel charging, car charger, and we've got our wall charging brick uh, to charge or recharge this power station back up. So let's take a look at this unit more uh, up close. This is a 500 watt, 461 watt hour power station, very portable. Uh, it comes with a, a very convenient handle at the top so that you can pick it up. This handle's also got a light in it, so I can push the uh, light button once, and there's actually a light also on the side that lights up. If I push this again, this light on the top lights up, and if I hold this button in three seconds, this light on the side actually flashes an SOS pattern. Very rugged look. Uh, this thing weighs 13.4 pounds, and it's got some rubber ridges on the edges, plastic casing all the way around. Uh, if you've got something, a, a cell phone that has wireless charging, there's also a wireless charging pad on the top, very convenient. You turn it on using the power button that's here, and then to charge it up, there's a couple of different ways you can charge it. There's that car charger, there is the regular wall outlet charger, and then it actually came with some solar cables that you can hook up uh, to uh, a solar panel if you have one. I happen to have a solar panel, so I'll show you how the charging for that is gonna work. And then of course, all these ports have these rubber covers on it to just keep water and moisture out of those areas. So moving down to the outputs, once you've got this battery charged up and you're gonna use it to power your devices, you've got DC ports here, uh, 12 volt, 10 amps. USB ports right here, you've got three USB quick charge 3.0 port, a USB-C port that's on here as well. Very convenient for some of the newer USB-C devices that are out there. And then we have two AC outlets. These are pure sine wave. So if you've got like a laptop computer or something like that, that you want to charge up using these outlets, you can definitely do that. Now, even though this is a 500 watt unit, it has peak power up to a thousand watts. So you turn on the power and it shows you the active battery level. Right now it's at 50%. I've got the uh, wall outlet power brick that came with it. This is a 24 volt output and I'm just going to go into the input to charge this unit up. We're going to plug this in and you'll immediately see here for input 
it's uh, showing me the, uh, the amount of hours that it's gonna take to charge this unit up. So right now at 50%, just under two hours to charge this up. So roughly four hours is what it's gonna take you to recharge, to fully recharge this whole unit. So we've got a nice clear sunny day, no clouds in the sky. And on the top of my shed, I've got a 100 watt solar panel wired into the side of the shed. So recharging this power station, I've got my solar cables coming inside my shed to this adapter that comes with the power station. Right now the battery in the station is at 90%. I'm gonna plug the, the uh, solar panel in and it's gonna get itself up to its uh, as efficient as possible as charging. So 100 watt solar panel, I'm getting roughly 69, 70 watts of charge out of this. You can see here it's giving me a gauge showing it's going to take roughly 27, 28, 29 minutes. So right around a half hour to charge 10% of this power station battery. Uh, if you multiply that by 90% uh, here, uh, the 10% taking 30 minutes, let's just say that it's going to be roughly around 300 minutes or about 10 hours using a 100 watt solar panel like I'm using with about 70% efficiency to fully charge up this power station. So let's take a closer look at what we can power with this device. I've got everything from a Nintendo Switch, some spare camera batteries and a charger, cell phone, laptop computer, this is all plugged in and it's all currently being powered by this power station charging one of my uh, Fitbit smartwatches and uh, I can turn on this fan and with everything running I am currently pulling 93 watts 95 watts of power so we've got our full-size refrigerator with a freezer we're gonna plug this into the power station to see if it'll work so with the watts fluctuating on the uh, refrigerator Right now it's pulling about 15 watts. Uh, it fluctuates, goes up and down from 15 to 25 watts. It's giving me a readout of 30.7 hours. It was actually down to about 20 hours when it was bumping up in watts. Uh, but you can still power a refrigerator for many hours. This is a full size refrigerator with this unit. So I've got the uh, 500 watt power station hooked up to my one third horsepower uh, pump sub pump here in the basement and uh, it was easily able to power that so in case of an emergency situation for backup you can use this for powering a sub pump so let's do a quick product comparison i've got three different power stations that are on the market right now we've got the power smart this is the 500 watt 461 watt hour uh, unit with the wireless charging pad on the top for wireless charging devices, DC outlet, the USB and the USB-C uh, power ports, and then we've got our pure sine wave uh, AC outlets, and then you can power all this up from right here using a wall, charger, car, or solar. You can turn the thing on and it's got a little LCD panel giving you the status of how much time it's gonna take to uh, charge it back up and how much time you've got left as far as power now off to this side we've got the 700 watt luby portable power station also has an lcd screen that shows you how much power is left how long you're going to have that power when you're charging it back up how long that's going to take uh, and then as far as lights um, i forgot to mention on the power smart you've got your light here and then you've also got your light here with an SOS mode for emergencies. On the Luby you have two lights that are on the front here uh, so you can turn those on. You also have your USB outlets, you got your USB-C, um, you've got your AC pure sine wave outlets uh, as well as your DC and again you can use the input here to charge this unit up from a, a car, solar, or a wall charger. So the 700 watt uh, Luby portable power station has a 577 watt hour uh, capability of it. And then this little guy over here made by Pecron, this is their 200 watt power station. So smaller than both these guys, but great for portable power if you need it on the go. Has a 193 
watt hour battery. Uh, this one's not really going to give you more than just a little readout from 100 down to zero of how much battery is left. Doesn't really tell you how long that's going to last. Uh, it has three USB outlets and then it has different inputs and outputs uh, depending on if you are going to use a wall charger, a car charger, uh, or if you're going to use solar to uh, charge this guy back up. This one features some lights that are going to be on the side with its own on-off switch for those lights. Uh, and then on this side, this is where it's got two pure sine wave uh, AC outlets as well. But again, with this being such a small unit, 200 watts, uh, not going to be able to power as large of uh, electronics, but still will give you some portable power for like a laptop computer, things like that, that you might want to plug into from these AC outlets. But again, this has only got the 193 uh, watt hour battery. Um, so just kind of giving you an overall uh, comparison between the options for these three units. So I'm interested to know what are your thoughts on this portable power station? How would you use this for portable power? Let me know down in the comments section below. And my name is Jeff on Tinker Ford. I've done all sorts of different tech reviews on all sorts of different products, so be sure to check those out. As always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.